Hey what up guys, it's Punchy, today we're going to be talking about Strength from Deep Oaken and how it's best used. Strength is one of the primary stats in Deep Oaken that you can level up on your menu, and you can even spec out it on spawn. If you have the most strength, like your points are dedicated to strength, you'll spawn with the dumbbell and it'll be a little bit easier for you to level up. If we look in the menu, by increasing strength it says it will increase your carry load weight, as well as armor penetration. So this is actually not increase your damage, so that is a misconception that was first thought of. As well as helping you carry certain items, this stat is very very important if you want to use heavy weapons. Certain heavy weapons have a requirement of strength for you to use them. If you use heavy weapons, make sure you have 10 strength. Other than that, the carry load is pretty nice, so it allows you to carry more things. If you want to make a bank alt, this is exactly what you want to have. On this account, that's kind of a meme build. I have 100 strength, and I can carry a lot of items. The next stat that goes up with strength is armor penetration. If you don't know what armor penetration is, it pretty much says, your armor doesn't matter, I'm going through it, I'm going to be doing more damage, it doesn't matter if you have armor. It's not the same thing as percent damage, it's not taking a percentage of your health, it's just negating what you have if you have armor. And when I say armor, I'm not talking about hyper armor or anything uninterruptible, I'm talking about the armor that you actually have on your character. Certain things actually have armor penetrations on items, such as the Shattered Katana. As of now, this is considered one of the best weapons for a medium weapon build because it does so much damage and it has range, and it can go through most of your armor. Other things, if you really just want to see a good look on armor penetration, are the Threshers. Threshers do so much damage because they negate your armor. They're like, okay, whatever. I don't care, I'm gonna eat you. I'm a Florida crocodile, like whatever. This is very, very dangerous, especially in the depths, because these guys will do insane damage no matter what armor you have. Another attack that it actually has armor penetration will be Primadon and its grab. So when it grabs you, it doesn't do percent damage, it just does damage that ignores your armor. So that's how armor penetration works, but unfortunately, if you set it at a campfire, it will not tell you your armor penetration stat. So that is kind of an issue. Surprised why it doesn't show that even though it says that you're leveling it up, it doesn't tell you in your stats menu or the summary. Some talents that work really, really well with strength would be the ones where you knock people into walls and it block breaks them. That's very good if you have the strong left. There's a move called Thresher Claws that actually does more armor penetration, which allows you to do more damage. And overall, some pretty good talents that do a lot of damage to posture. Most of the really good talents you want for a strength build would be with those that do damage to posture, those that block break, things for your heavy attacks, and armor penetration, of course. Before I teach you how to uncap strength, I will show you some of the mantras that you can get if you pick a nun as your attunement, and you only go with the strength ones. One of the essential moves is pretty much rapid punches. It's just an aura aura punch, it's a barrage, does a lot of damage, and if you have a bloodless gem, it can heal you for quite a bit. The singular version of this is the strong left. Pretty much it can fling your opponent, it can do a lot of damage to block, and it can send them flying if you hit them. The mobility move you can get if you do have a lot of strength is the strong leap. It's pretty much flame leap, doesn't do damage, but I think if you reversal spark this thing, it can slam into the ground and do damage to those around you. I mean, you would still want the jump anyway, just because it is your only mobility. The two other moves that you can get for strength, I believe, are revenge and dash. They're movement options that send you forward, and they're pretty much the same thing, except revenge does some damage and goes further. But um, yeah, it's very horizontal movement. Other than that, that's pretty much all it is to the strength mantras, but I do believe they do scale off of your strength, so if you have higher strength, you're going to do more damages with your punches. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to unbind your strength, so you can get 100 strength instead of 75 if you want to do that. It does give you a nice stat boost as well. Strength may become important when the new oaths come out. I assume there's going to be one for strength because they did say it was going to be three or four new oaths, so why wouldn't there be one for strength? To unbind your strength, all you have to do is go to the Aerosaur Cave, which is past the side of Banda Island, just around the back, where I'll spawn, where you go for Aerosaur for your armor. I don't think this will work if you don't have 75 strength, so make sure you do have that before you begin any of this quest. There's a couple annoying things like bandit spawns, owl spawns, and even um, acid rain. It shouldn't be really an issue if you hide. There's a couple cliffs that you can hide underneath if it is going to do a lot of damage to you. Keep on going until you see the aerosaur cave. You should be able to see it. Um, there's a lot of blue particles around there, blue ore sticking out on the side of the walls that indicate the aerosaur is nearby. So now that I've landed, I'm going to be going into the tomb area. It's like tomb of the unnamed warrior or something. Just going to be some black mud skipper that you're going to kill. He's a little bit weird, but don't worry. He doesn't do damage. It's all good if you're afraid of him. Once we're finished, all we have to go is into the back and hit it with our strong left. To be honest, if you skip this move, I don't even know if you could get back here. After that, just continue down this hallway towards the sarcophagus or tomb or whatever it may be, and we're going to go down the ladder inside of it. Sometimes this is a bit buggy. I think you have to break it open or something, but if you just click climb, it will glitch you inside of the floor, and I actually <laughs> went through the map and I had to reset.
After dying to this, I actually came back and did it normally, how I'm supposed to be doing it, and I was able to go through this hallway and talk to the NPC that gives me the talent. The dialogue and area is pretty funny. Um, I like what they have to say, but I'm pretty sure this might be used when the new oaths come out because this area is pretty cool and not much in it right now, but we'll see what happens. So hopefully this gave you an insight on strength and what to do with armor penetration, as well as helping you break your limit. If you thought this video was informative or helpful, make sure to like and subscribe because I will be making more builds and informative videos like these guides. So let me know what you think. Thanks guys.